2007 Vauxhall Viro uh, panel van around my old old man's house he's got to do his uh, brake discs so uh, some new front brake discs here uh, pretty clean them a bit of brake cleaner new sad brake pads Section of some of the tools you're going to need. Some um, G clamps for pushing the brake pistons back in the caliper. A couple of screwdrivers for prying. Persuading tool is always handy. Um, I think these are um, for a selection of Torx bits. Take the uh, Break this off, securing bolt. So I'm around my old man's house, he's going to be doing a job. So, um, yeah, first job, get the wheel van jacked up and a wheel off. Nine mil socket, got a little electric windy gun here. You whip these wheel nuts off. So it's jacked up safety first, axle stand. We want to slacken this uh, disc retaining bolt. It's pretty rusty on there, might need a bit, bit of persuading. Um, got two, uh, I think, 10 mil kind of bolts on there that need to come off first. Ready? Yeah, just so it doesn't spin, just put a screwdriver, substantial screwdriver, I've done it before and I've put, and they've snapped the screwdrivers off in them, so put a substantial screwdriver in there, get that um, bolt off. And we've got two. So the caliper bolts are 12mm. Take both of them right out if we're changing the discs. If we were just changing the pads, probably get away with just taking the one out, sliding it up or down just to replace the pads. Yeah, open up the bonnet, take the uh, lid off your um, brake fluid. I think your brake fluid has got somewhere to go when you push your brake caliper pistons back. Uh, I think it I think he's partially done it. I ain't got here very well, am I? So the first thing is get these uh, brake pistons pushed back. That's that done then. Just using a simple G clamp. Just nice and easy, winding them back. Keeping an eye that it's not going to overflow. And you break through the reservoir, it should be alright. Nice. If you ain't got a screwdriver, if you ain't got a G clamp, you just use a screwdriver and just pry them in whilst it's still bolted to the carrier. Yeah, they've got to be done at both the same time, otherwise one will push the other one back out again. So either use you could use just one caliper and just put a bit one of the old brake pads back in there or you've got two two G clamps, just do it like that. Right, just a simple cable tie, just tie the um, brake caliper up out of the way so as not to strain the um, brake hose. Oh, that's up out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is uh, get the cal caliper carrier bracket off. Two bolts, um, lots 
possibly a 17. So simply that the pads out, these are all to change. As you can see, they have about 2mm, 3mm left on them. Them out. Caliper bolts are a 18mm, two bolts in there, just whip, just crack them off with a spoon. Right, so, caliper comes off simple enough, two bolts. Uh, we've got a bit of work to cleaning that up in a minute. Well, first of all, we're going to concentrate, get the disc off. Um, you might find it's going to be partially seized on with all the rust on the hub. I just might need a um, little bit of persuasion. So be careful with it, getting yeah, this cast iron, it could break. So try and concentrate hitting it on the hub to loosen up the rust. Just keep working your way around. Ready? So that's, um, so that's a disc through. Let's whip that off. What we're going to do make sure we clean all this rust off of this hub so we get good fitment on a new disc so it runs true. So we've got our new discs here. Now I'll give you a bit of advice. You'll save yourself a bit of money when you're buying discs. If you're prepared to put in the work, you can pick up your discs and your brake parts or whatever parts for a car a little bit cheaper. You do, you find out what what part is for your car and go and go by the part number of the brand you've chosen. So we've got these drive tech ones from Germany and Swedish. And the part number for this for a Vauxhall Vivaro, Prime Star or this um, Renault traffic. We've got part number DM3768 for the discs. Now, if you search that on Amazon or eBay and search for the part number, you'll be able to find the parts considerably cheaper. So these these discs worked out from German and Swedish via eBay, eighteen pounds each. Which is a lot cheaper than getting them from, from uh, German Swedish, and I think they're about £48 each. Something silly. But they always have office days on, but you will always find stuff cheaper if you'd search, if you cross reference part numbers and search by the part numbers. For example, these brakes, Eurocar parts sell on £25. Search by the part number. Found them on eBay for 12 quid. 12 quid, can't go wrong. Um, new discs, make sure you put a bit of brake clean on them. <coughs> clean them up before we put them on. Get rid of all, all the oily residue. And yeah, so. Um, what we need, to, we need to do now, once we've finished cleaning the hub, I've got the discs on, we need to address the uh, brake pad carrier make sure the um, slider pins are all moving nicely if necessary take them out re-lube them up uh, using a silicone grease we don't want to be using normal grease because um, this is rubber um, normal grease will affect the rubber on the boots eat it away yeah, it just don't work very well so we use a silicone based grease So the old man's brought out the old angle grinder with the uh, wire wheel. Safety first, he's got his um, full face protection mask on, he's just going to give it a nice clean up. So I cleaning with the um, 
caliper carrier and just re-bolted it back on onto the top bolt so it's in a nice position where you can get um, a wire wheel on it while it's on the car which holds it for you Right, so we removed the slide pin out of this side. It's got it there. We want to clean the old grease off of it and get some fresh stuff. And we're using silicon grease. As I said before, we don't want to affect the rubber, which a normal petroleum based grease would do. So, and we only want to get it on the outside. We only want it on the, around the outside. We don't want on the end. Because unnecessary, it'll build up unnecessary pressure. I won't allow the piston to move fully in and out as it needs to. So we just push it straight in, all the way in, and, it, and the rubber seal will just come on its end. Make sure it goes fully in and out. If necessary, um, sometimes you might have to burp them, or you just pull, push them all the way in, pull the rubber up, and just let the air out. But as long as they move in and out nicely, it'll be alright. So before we put the brake disc on, we're going to put a little bit of copper slip on the hub. Just so that if we have to do the job again, the hub comes off a little bit easier and it doesn't seize. Let's smear it around nicely. We don't want too much, just enough to, just a small film over the hub. And we get the new disc and we line it up with the screw hole other way around that. So we can put it on the right way, line the screw up, the screw's just there for a ease of assembly. You know, the wheel holds the disc, this secured one. Um, for reference, the screw that holds the disc on is a, a T40 Torx. Simply screw that back in. The disc got a little bit grubby. As we're, as, as we're putting it on, so we're going to give it, we'll give it a final clean again. Some breaking clutch, just to remove the dirty marks. Front and back, any any oily finger marks, and then we're ready for the caliper carrier bracket to go back on. Alright, so two bolts back on, put a little bit of block tight on the threads. It's a little spot, we don't want these going anywhere, so um, tighten them back up to torque. Tighten them up to about one grunt. Mm. Next, we want to be putting the pads in the car in the um, carrier, but we're going to um, put a little bit of copper, copper grease where the metal contacts with metal for the pads, just to eliminate rattle. That's all it's for. Then we get our new pads. Make sure they just slot into place. That's it, just they just sit on. Then we get um Caliper, and we're going to put a little bit of copper grease where the where the piston touches the caliper, just to eliminate that rattle. Any any rattle, we don't want any brake rattle. We don't need to smear it everywhere. We just need to. Well, the metal touches metal, so we're going to wipe it on the actual pistons. 
I'll try not to, you don't need too much, it's just to just add to the cushion against the noise. And we've just got that caliper hang up on a cable tie still, so we're not putting any excess strain on that bike. That's ready to go on now, we can cut the um, cable tie. Position the caliper back over the carrier onto the pads, lining up the slider pin fixings, and putting the bolts back in. We'll put them in finger tight to start with, and we'll tighten them up to a 12 mil socket. Okay, as it goes on, make sure these springs, the battle springs, don't get caught. They locate properly. So we tighten up the um, caliper bolts spec and we make make sure we put our hose clamp hose back in its um, bracket. And that says uh, the job complete. All we need to do now is just make sure we apply pressure to the brake by five to six times before we um, drive to allow the piston so the pedal goes hard again to make sure the pistons are extended enough against the brake pads and we have adequate pressure on them um, if necessary it won't, won't really be needed to top off our um, brake fluid level as we push the pistons back we've got brand new brand new brakes now we're going to have more than enough fluid there. It may be necessary if it's been topped up recently to take some fluid out and just use a, a piece of rag to soak it out or a syringe if you have have one of them. But yeah, that's the job done. We just uh, we get the wheel on, pump the brake up, get the wheel on, and that's the job done. Now, quick and quite an easy job to do. And I mean, we've got the parts pads. And discs less than 50 quid. You do it yourself, it's not an expensive job. And look, you've got brand new brakes. Um, yeah, okay, all right. Hey, don't forget to take your axle stand out, guys. Get your wheel, wheel back on, and uh, don't forget to put your hub cap on. Make sure it's on secure. Don't be Alright, okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, simple brake job, if anyone's got a Vivaro, Prime Star, Traffic, all the same type of van, I hope it helps help someone out, give someone a little bit of guidance if they want to um, attempt to do the job themselves. Okay, alright, thanks a lot guys. Cheers. See you in the next one.